Out of all childhood Scooby Doo movies I've watched, this is one of my favorites, and it still is. I haven't watched obviously all of the Scooby Doo movies I watched when I was a kid. I only watched the ones that I remembered really liking. Of course, there's stuff like the ones with goblins and werewolves that's Halloween related, and there's the dinosaur one. But I'm only doing my favorite ones. This one is sadly, I'm pretty sure, the last one that Casey Kazim voices Shaggy. He was the original voice actor for Shaggy in the 1969 show. Which I won't be watching, because I don't think it's on anything. HBO has like all the Scooby-Doo related stuff, but that. And I'm only watching like two Scooby-Doo shows from my childhood. I watched a lot of other ones, but I'm only doing two of my favorite ones. What's new, Scooby-Doo? And Mr. Incorporated. Now let's talk about the actual movie. It's short. It's like only like an hour and a few minutes long. Because the credits are super long. The runtime says an hour and 17 minutes, but it's definitely not. I don't know why it says 2008. It said 2009 on HBO, but whatever. Daphne makes friends, sort of, with this one girl. She gets betrayed by her. They try and make it a big deal. Which I remember being very sad about. Like, as a character, yes, that's kind of sad because you thought she was a good person. But her and Daphne barely had any interaction together. Why are they acting like that's the biggest one? Of course, this has the infamous line that became a meme. Where um, everybody's doing their catchphrase when they're scared. And yes, I said scared. Because they act like Fred doesn't have a catchphrase. But he definitely does. He has the Let's Split Up gang. Because he says that in like every episode of the shows. That's his catchphrase. He just doesn't have one when he's scared like Shaggy and everybody else. Everybody's like, rut rose oinks, jeepers, and et cetera, et cetera. And Fred's like, dang it, I still don't have a catchphrase. Even though I really like this movie, it was definitely a bit ridiculous plot-wise. There's these two people that are obviously the villains. You find out they're the villains when there's still 30 minutes left in the movie. So they're already unmasked when there's still quite a bit of the movie left. We find out she wants to take down technology with technology. She wants to take down the modern world by bringing back the dead samurai to life. And she's going to use her army of robot ninjas, a.k.a. technology, to help the samurai. Very ridiculous. If she hates technology so much... Why does she have an army of robot ninjas? And I remember them being a bigger part of this movie, but they're in like two or three scenes. And they get taken out in the third scene very fast. They're just kind of standing there. It's a really good movie, though. Pretty entertaining, but it does the typical thing where they have Scooby save the day. And Shaggy just gets knocked down. Like, he gets kicked. That's it. And he just kind of just lays there, giving Scooby advice. And now Scooby's the one that defeats the samurai. Just like in the WWE one where Shaggy got tied up in the ropes and Scooby-Doo saved the day. Although I really think this is a good movie, that is definitely not the best. But out of all the Scooby-Doo movies I've watched, it's still my favorite. Coming in second is definitely the live-action Scooby-Doo movies. And not the Cartoon Network ones. Those are fine, but definitely not those.